Now we're driving through the city of Conover in North Carolina. It's blooming right now in springtime. Yeah, it's a springtime here, lots of Prezitia and trees. Yeah. Cherry, cherry mm -hmm. trees. Yeah, I love spring, the light green mm -hmm. color on the trees. It's very nice. This is uh, like your typical American sub can we like small town. Small town, yeah. Small country town. But yeah. it's not too small. Yeah. I mean i I mean like the residential neighborhoods. Well I mean it's not bad. Yeah, it's uh it's cloudy though, it looks yeah. grayish, but it's not bad. Yeah, red bricks. Red bricks buildings. Oh there's magnolia trees. Yeah. Blooming. Red bud trees. Mm -hmm. Beginning of spring. Mm -hmm. Here in early March. Virginia. Yeah. Taking a shortcut from the highway. A little bit. Get half an hour or so. Mm -hmm. Very foggy day today for some reason. Mm -hmm. That's... But we're right in the mountains so. though. Yeah. And it's raining, so that's why. Mm -hmm. Some sort of uh, cold or warm and, huh? and it's gonna snow tomorrow in Highland County. So. Mm -hmm. But not tomorrow, but today and yeah. the day after tomorrow. Tomorrow will be lucky. But maybe it'll be beautiful with snow. Oh, look at the at the steam coming off the buildings and, uh, and the, even the road. Picturesque uh, landscapes mm -hmm. of Virginia. Extremely picturesque. Yeah, countryside. It rivals the other great places in Virginia we've seen. Yeah. This is really nice here. I don't know what this is called, this town. Yeah. I guess near Floyd. Very beautiful. No, very steep roads. <laughs> yeah. Not steep winding. I mean, but very open. Lots of agricultural. Continue straight to stay on State Route 750. Lots of agricultural activity. Yeah, so this is the 750 route. Uh -huh. If you ever want to drive here, it must be even nicer when it's not as cloudy. Yeah. Then maybe in summer. Continue straight to stay on State Route 750. But it's nice here with the flowers too, the springtime flowers. Maybe in autumn is also nice. Continue on State Route 750 for three miles. Very winding road. Like a car sick here. So we're in the town of Iron Gate in Virginia. About an hour away from Highland County. Again with dramatic mountainous views. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's even nice with the clouds and mist. And it's not raining heavily either. Just a peaceful day. A small town. But uh, it's said I think it was established in 1890 or something. 1890, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of historic. It's been here for a while. <laughs> We're driving to Warm Springs, Virginia. And we'll take a bath in the river, Warm Springs. Yeah, they're not hot, they're warm. Yeah. Well, they're at the Jefferson Hot Springs. 
which you can go in the Omni Hotel Resort. We have to have a reservation or something. And it's not cheap. 25 per hour per person or something. For an hour. Yeah, we have to call them for to make reservations. So I don't even know what's going on there. I think they even stop that. Yeah, and it's uh, almost two o'clock. So it's kind of dark, even though it's two o'clock. Yeah, cloudy. There's a James Weaver, right? No? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, I don't know what... Yeah, yeah, Jackson Weaver. Oh. Um, so here's the blue sky. Kind of came out in front. It's so cloudy, though. Driving right through the mountains, we entered George Washington National Forest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are driving along the, the river called Kalpasha River. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the beautiful kind of bluish color. Mm-hmm. And then the trout's there. Yeah, it's like glacial water. Here we are at the Warm Spring Baths that Jefferson, the President, Thomas Jefferson, even visited to heal some ailments. It's early in the morning, so there's nobody here. But you can see the uh, the steam coming from the river. At the Airbnb, we stayed at just a, f- a mile or so down the road, or maybe even a half a mile. The water was still cold. It wasn't freezing, but it was... But it was still cold to swim in. But here you can see the the steam. So maybe if we can just go down and just just try it a little bit, try the water. I wonder how it'll be like. Lots of birds, and you can call the Omni Resort and make a reservation to stay at these bathhouses for an hour or more. I'm really curious to see the water here. But it's it's interesting, it's steaming over there, but not steaming here, right? So I wonder if this is a different source. So maybe you have to try the water there. What do you think? Yeah, I think there, these are two different sources probably, mm-hmm. so for that one or for that one. So yeah. that one is clearly coming from those buildings, so that's why it's hot. But um, this water may not be warm, it may just be that water. And there are no trespassing signs too, so can't really go there to touch the water there. But I guess we can, can come down here and walk to that river and just see how it is. Do you want to come down here maybe? Yeah. I can try it for you and let you know. No, no, I want to try it myself. So I don't think this water is warm. It's freezing. Yeah, let's try that one then. I'm not sure we can go over there. No, we're not gonna go there, but we're gonna go where where it's mixing. So. So it looks like it's mixing here, so maybe... No! It's cold. It's probably because they're mixing together. Maybe if we go there, then it'll be warm. Uh, I don't but, know. I mean, obviously it's steaming there, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Alright. Well, I guess you just have to reserve the bathhouse and just yeah. go there. Mm-hmm. If you want to swim. Or just even try the water. Because the bathhouses, we were told that they come from the source of the hot manure water. 
so I guess they have the hottest water out of all of them. That was cool. It's very nice here. Yeah. Very beautiful. Countryside. Oh, there's a car. There are signs for information here too. So it's very cool. Very nice. So this was all in Bath County in Virginia near Highland County. And I think the bathhouse is open from around 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. But you have to call for a reservation. And it's very, very nice that Virginia has hot springs too that you don't know about. And these uh, bathhouses were renovated actually in December 2022, just a few months ago. So they're quite new and everything is very nice probably inside.